evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Armenian New Year and Easter, Armenian 13563. Statement by Artsakh Foreign Ministry on the anniversary of the massacre of Armenians of Shushi. Armenian pilgrims accompanied by Russian peacekeepers visited the Christian monasteries of Dadivank and Amaras. The Russian Air Force again bombed Idlib. Sites of Western Armenia, the volcanic Haidardar Lake of Cilicia. The work Shushanavank of Bagaran was presented to the scientific community. Zartong, a joint concert by Armenian and Artsakh state dance ensembles. The Armenian New Year and Easter were celebrated on March 21, the day of the spring equinox in Yerevan. In ancient times, Armenia celebrated the New Year on March 21, the day of the spring equinox, which is not an accident. Nature resurrects at the beginning of spring, that is why Armenians turn that day into New Year and joyfully celebrate it. This glorified the awakening of nature. On that day, the Armenian people celebrate the birth of Vahagan, which was considered the main holiday of the ancient Armenians, and fire was the symbol of the day. Even today, there are many customs that are preserved mainly in the villages among the next generations bearing Western Armenian culture. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, noted in his congratulatory speech that he mostly emphasizes the changes that Armenians should make for the benefit of their country, starting the new year with a change of mentality towards the world because the expectations of having a stronger future depend on it. We should think about improving the homeland, because losing it, we lose a part of ourselves. The preservation of traditions presupposes the preservation of identity, which helps us to build a stronger future. Artsakh Foreign Ministry has issued a statement on the anniversary of the massacre of Armenians of Shushi. On this day 101 years ago, the authorities of the Azerbaijani Republic, together with the regular Turkish army and numerous armed gangs, organized the massacre of the Armenian population of Shushi, almost completely destroying the historical capital of Artsakh. The genocide in Shushi was the first manifestation of the aggressive policy pursued against Artsakh by an artificially created state called Azerbaijan. As a result of this monstrous crime, thousands of Armenians were killed, tens of thousands were forced to leave the town, the Armenian cultural heritage was destroyed, the people's property was looted, and the sacred sites were desecrated. This tragic event was a signal of what kind of policy Azerbaijan will adopt in the coming decades. The fact that the international community didn't give a proper assessment to the genocidal policy of Baku and Ankara, and the criminals remained unpunished, led to a new aggression unleashed by Azerbaijan against Artsakh on September 27, 2020, with the support of Turkey and the participation of international terrorists resulting in the occupation of the town of Shushi. The Armenians of Artsakh will never accept the loss of Shushi. Shushi was, is, and will be an integral part of Artsakh, and everything will be done to liberate the occupied territories of the Republic and restore the historical justice. More than 100 pilgrims accompanied by Russian peacekeepers visited the Christian monasteries of Dadivank and Amaras, the Ministry of Defense of Russia, reported via Armen Press. A group of Armenian pilgrims accompanied by a Russian peacekeeping contingent visited the Dadivank monastery. The Russian peacekeepers also ensured the safety of the Armenian pilgrims while visiting the Amaras Christian Monastery, which is located in Artsakh, in the immediate vicinity of the borderline between the two sites, the Russian Defense Ministry said. On Sunday, the Russian Air Force tracked the positions of pro-Turkish militants in the northern Idlib province, Syria. According to the data given by Reuters, the Baba al-Hawa region on the border was the main target of the Russian planes. According to the Syrian National Army, sponsored by Turkey, the Russian side fired ballistic missiles at areas near the refugee camp in the border town of Kah on Sunday evening. Representatives of the White Helmets organization carrying out rescue operations in northern Syria claim that the Russian Air Force has also bombed a gas depot near the city of Sarmada. A large number of flying birds live in the volcanic Haidarlar Lake of Hatay, western Armenia. Lake Haidarlar lies among the rocks at the foot of the Amanos Taurus Mountains of Cilicia, where 20 different species of birds have been observed. The volcanic lake is an attractive place for flying birds, as in spring its surface is covered with water chamomiles and the surrounding vegetation consists of reeds and trees. Although the number of flying birds in the lake increases in the coming months, the municipality of Hassa sometimes adds water to prevent the volcanic lake from drying up. This place is truly one of the sites of Western Armenia and is worth a visit. 
The book Shushan Avankov Bagaran is dedicated to the architectural and source examination of one of the unique monuments of early medieval Armenian architecture, Shushan Sixth Altar Church of St. Bagaran and Shushan Avank Monastery Historical Complex. As reported by Armen Press, the book is a scientific work, which was published on the initiative of Don Moskvi Moscow Culture and Business Center in Yerevan, with the blessing of the Catholicus of Old Armenians Karagin II. The work in Armenian, Russian and English was written in six months. The authors are Grigor Nalbandian, Arsen Harutunyan, Ashot Hakopian. The monastery is located on the left shore of the Ahurian River, on the top of a rocky hill from where a beautiful view opens to the historic Bagaran. It has been regularly damaged not only by national disasters but also by human behavior. According to locals, the monastery was repeatedly shelled by the Turkish side. The state has assembled of Armenia and Artsakh will perform a joint Zartong concert on March 28 in National Academy Theater of Opera and Ballet after Spendiarian, trying to give positive emotions to the fans of Armenian folk dance. The Zartong dance will start the concert with a wonderful composition by Khachatur Avetisyan, directed by Gagik Karapetyan. The director of the ensemble, Eric Chanchurian, is sure that people will like the concert. It will give an opportunity to relax. Now we present you Akung Vahagni Tsanund. is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.